All right, guys, we've got some updates to 3i Atlas here. In this morning at 4.10 Universal Time, they say that Atlas was showing a complex structure. So these are fresh images. The newest that we've got, this is a series of stacked images consisting of 24 exposures in the green filter. We've talked about how this is dumping a bunch of cyanide and that it looks blue in its natural form, but they look at it in different color spectrums to try to pick up on different materials that, could, that it could be emitting. They know there's a lot of CO2 around this, so they use a lot of green filter to look and see the exact size of the coma. Now, they also had two exposures in red filter and two exposures in blue filter. And what this all shows here is a large glowing halo extending out about half a million kilometers. And the image shows at least seven distinct jets, some of which are anti-tails, so to speak, or anti-jets, facing toward the direction of the sun. At the time of the observation, it was 7 to 10 degrees above the horizon, and twilight interfered with the observations, and they were trying to get this with a bright moon in the sky. So in the coming weeks, all this is going to get clearer and better. And they say that this network of jets, it could be associated with ice, but they already said that this thing only had 4 to 5% of ice and water. That means that should have been long gone passing the sun. So now the question is, what is this thing kicking out in mass here? The networks of jets associated with this could be one of two things. The jetting, like a, a normal comet does, with ice and water, which does not match the composition. Or, this could be a series of thrusters all the way around this object being used to guide it, to, to navigate it, is what Avi Loeb is saying on his site. So there's some options here. And in the days ahead, we're going to find out more. An add on top of this. They just received the first radio signal from 3i Atlas, which they say is connected to the absorption of hydroxyl radicals, or OH molecules. They didn't find this stuff or have any inkling of any signal in September, but from all the stuff, the data from October, they have discovered this. Now, what November supplies us with, yet to be seen, We've got still more than half the month to go through, and we're entering a window coming up on 11-11 that's going to be very interesting. Make sure to join me on the live streams. Go on live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, where I talk about this in greater detail. Hit that subscribe button, and eyes to the skies. Much love, y'all.